Actually, uh, to start, um, you know, we would like to send our thoughts and prayers to the people in Japan who have been suffering, you know, from this uh, devastation. So I would like to observe a uh, moment of silence with you, please. Thank you very much. That, that day, uh, I was uh, talking at the Union Club in downtown Cleveland. Also, right after my talk, I was featured on the uh, Japanese national TV, NHK, because uh, they wanted to feature my story, you know, nationally. So uh, there was some uh, program, you know, aired that, that, that night. So I did get a lot of, uh, uh, you know, congratulating uh, messages and, uh, you know, uh, 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 other, you know, uh, good, uh, uh, you know, messages from my friends in Japan. A few hours ago, suddenly, things completely changed. I woke up around uh, 2 o'clock in the, in the morning, which I often do because uh, I, I, I'm, uh, you know, I wake up quite early. And uh, when I, you know, turn on the TV, what I saw was the, uh, you know, dark water taking the, uh, you know, you know, very big uh, areas, and uh, it was, you know, it says ripe. So I felt it must be some kind of a movie, like Godzilla movie or something, just because I couldn't believe what, what I was seeing. But clearly, it was a true story. I immediately woke up uh, my wife, and then I said, you know, Miki, you have to watch this because something's happening. Well, I called uh, uh, my parents uh, who live in Nara, uh, which is, uh, you know, in the western part of Japan. There was no, uh, uh, you know, signal lines, phone lines available. And of course, uh, my wife, she came from Yokohama area, uh, right next to Tokyo. So she was trying to reach out, uh, you know, her parents also, but no phone lines. We were very, very concerned because uh, uh, there was no emails, nothing. Two days later, my mother called me uh, from Japan, uh, uh, telling me that, uh, you know, they are safe and they are okay. And likewise, uh, you know, my wife's parents did the same. But it took some days for us to have that assurance. But even then, you see, the, what we saw on the TV was completely beyond our, you know, understanding and comprehension. Because today, as of today, as you may know, more than 30,000 people were lost. And uh, actually, May 5th, which is today, is, uh, uh, you know, Children's Day in Japan to be celebrated. So it's a national holiday. When you think about many children still missing in those areas, and then, you know, we also have a, not only, uh, you know, earthquake effect, tsunami effect, but we also have a nuclear plants, you know, contamination issue, which needs to be, you know, put under control, but we do not know yet as to when those people can go back to those areas. So when, uh, uh, you know, we saw these things, I, as a Japanese person, I mean, who came to Cleveland in 92 to uh, uh, study, uh, you know, physics, uh, to get a PhD in physics at Case Western Reserve University. I mean, you know, I, I, I felt that there, there is something I have to do as a, uh, as a human being. Because simply, I mean, you know, it's something that we have to support. Because, yes, this happened in Japan, but it could happen to other countries. And at the end of the day, of course, we have a, you know, potential conflicts between countries and, uh, you know, uh, different cultures and uh, uh, ethnic backgrounds. I mean, you can name many things. But at the end of the day, we are living on this one planet. So I, I felt that, uh, you know, uh, many people gathered together to, to ask me, because I, was a, I am a Japanese person, they, they asked me, so how could we help? Where, where can we send uh, you know, money? I mean, there were many questions you know, came. So, um, you know, uh, we worked with uh, uh, our consul general's office, uh, uh, you know, Mr. Masada's office. And also, there is an organization, Japan uh, Association of Northeast Ohio. There are some group of people, I mean, I mean, Japanese people, who gathered to form an organization. So, we worked for the last one month to, to create a, you know, a relief fund so that we can you know, uh, send the money to those people because, let's face it, that's the only thing we can do at this point. 
I mean, we cannot go there to, to help because it will be more destruction if I will go there. And uh, uh, when I think about, you know, the people who cannot even prove who they are today because they lost everything and the cities are gone. So they cannot even prove who they are, right? That's a fundamental human right. And uh, I, I felt that, you know, we have to do something and that that's the reason that uh, we are, you know, uh, getting together with all of you today because we are hoping to make a difference, positive difference at least, and then, you know, uh, continue to support the people there. And then we, we have to basically, you know, uh, stand up for others who are in trouble. At the end of the day, you know, yes, we may be defeated today because of this devastation, but we know we have to stand up tomorrow to, to, to you know, uh, stand up and then to go forward because that's the destiny of uh, mankind. We cannot be just defeated and then, you know, finish it there because we have a life, there is a meaning of life, and that's the reason we are all here. So, yes, it sounds very difficult, it sounds very challenging for those people who are going through those problems, but with all of us together, we can send energies, we can send, uh, you know, uh, thoughts and prayers, and uh, I, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be with them.